we're back on the record. Mr. Marsh, I understand you did were you able to get in touch with him? Yes. The phone service was very sketchy, but he said that he does not recall. Okay. So as far as the company's concerned, it never did any retrofitting or never installed any of these? I don't recall. Okay. Now, the letter that we're referring to, and the company's testified they did not receive dated January the 1st, 2007. It's addressed to Bentley dealers and Bentley customers. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And at the bottom it says that it's a very important recall and ask that action be taken immediately and that you post this notice at your dealership. Is that right? Where are you on? Third paragraph? At the, at the very bottom, the last three sentences. Yes, it says that. Now, I asked you before about a Bennington safety recall. I'm going to show you. That's a letter, February the 13th, 2002. Have you ever seen that? No. Okay. Not to my knowledge. I mean, I, I don't recall seeing this. For sure. I mean, it's... It. If you would, then flip, flip to the next page. Hang on, hang on, let me, let me read it. Well, I mean, you've already told me you haven't seen this, right? I just want to read it. Okay. Well, this next page, it shows the railings that we've been talking about. Is that how most... This is a Bennington boat. Okay, what is? This is what you said, that this is a Bennington, I'm assuming, is this a Bennington or a Bentley? And that's what I'm going to ask you, is these, these curved edges, uh, this is made out of aluminum, right? Yes. And is that how most pontoon boats were manufactured back then? Yes. Now, that design has changed here recently, has it not? This? Well... The design where you have the pinch points, where you have the actually area. looking at some that we had in stock from Harris, they don't have any of that. And that's what I'm getting at. It's it's a new design. They're actually flat across the top. Is that right? Harris does not even have one there. Okay. Doesn't have a guard. I understand. And it's because they've redesigned these railings, and there's no longer a curve on each edge that causes a pinch point. Okay. Do you follow me? I think I am. And the reason I ask is, I mean, I'm, I'm a trial lawyer, and I mean, I've, I've gotten up to speed on this because it's my case. This is your line of work. This is your business. So I'm yes. hoping you're following me with all of this. Well, I'm, I'm listening to you say that there's a new design in the way they build the gates. Right. And is that right with the new boats that you sell? I did not pay... I don't know if it's straight. I just know that on the Harris, there is no block there. Okay. And Harris is the, the pontoon boats that y'all sell now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that what you're talking about? That looks like one of them. Okay, and that's that's your web page. Is that your boat for sale? Yes. Okay. And it appears in this picture that there is no block. Okay, what year model is that boat? Well, let's read here. 2013. Okay. And. What size boat is it? it? Says it's a 250 Grand Mariner. Okay. And that's your website, right? It appears to be. Okay. Let's mark that as the next exhibit.
Now you also sell Premier boats, is that right? Yes. Now the Premier boats do have block guards on them. Yes. Okay, and that's another photo from your website. 2014 Premier? Yes, that's what it says. And it has those block guards on, on it, correct? It appears to be in this picture, yes. Okay. Well, you agree with me. That's a picture from your website. That's your boat. It's your business, is it not? Yes. So, you, do you know? It, it, I mean, it looks, yeah, I mean, it appears to be one of ours. And if you drag it off our website. Okay. Well, do they have block guards on them or not? It appears to in this picture. Okay. Now, would you agree with me it's important to have these guards on boats that, that need them? To eliminate the pinch point? Objective one. You can answer. I'm going to say this, in my opinion, it's very important to egress off the boat the way it's meant to be by the ladder in the back of the boat with the gates being closed. Okay. Um, so you think that it's dangerous for somebody to go off the boat any other way than using the ladder? Well, I, I think that it's safer. Okay. But as a boat company, you know that it's foreseeable that you're going to have people opening up that side gate and jumping off. That's if they're letting people do it. That's their option, their choice. That's not what I asked you. I mean, as a boat seller, you know that people are going to go out on the lake and they're going to open it up and they're going to jump off the side. I don't know that. I mean, I, you, we can make assumptions. Okay. With The ball guards, your testimony is you never explained to customers what the ball guards were for? I'm the general manager. I mean, I wasn't doing, you know, the orientation. I mean, you know. Well, what's the, what's the company's directives to the salespeople as far as the safety aspects of these boats and what to show people and what not to show them? Well, I mean, the safety aspect, I mean, you know, the pinch guard, I mean, I, I mean, that's, I mean, it's, you know, you're supposed to, you know, when you go off the boat, either, you know, make sure the gate's closed, first of all. Okay. So your testimony is you tell people to make sure all the gates are closed before I'm not get saying off the we boat. tell them that. I mean, okay. I don't, I don't recall. I don't do a, a the orientation. Okay, well, who decides what the orienta orientation is and, and what you tell people and what you don't tell them? It would be the, the sales manager. Okay, and they, he's under you, is that right? Is it true? Is it the company's testimony you don't give any guidance whatsoever to your sales people? Is yes, we do give guidance okay. to our sales people. Well, tell me, what is it that you tell them to warn people about? It's basically going over the operation of the boat and if the customer has any questions. Okay. Now, your testimony was that you warn people to shut the gate before they jump off. Is that right? Well, I mean, I can't say that that happens every time. But you think it's a good idea to let people know that? I mean, it... Do I think it's a good idea to let people know that? Right, because your position is if the, if the gate's closed, then they're not going to injure themselves. Is that right? Well, I mean, jumping off the side of the, the boat with the gate open, you know, after reading all this, you know, that if there's a, and you're showing me the ben, or Bennington deal, that there's an issue with these gates shutting. Okay. So it is, it's dangerous when these, if you jump off and these gates are open. Obviously it is, is that the boy lost his finger. Okay. And when did you figure that out? I, whenever the, the accident occurred, I mean, I'd never heard of anything like this happen. 
Okay. But I thought you'd received the 2004 letter. Yes, we just received the letter. So you knew but there was a problem with these pinch points at the gates on these pontoon boats? I knew that they had sent this one to us, the safety recall, and you know, said so they sent a letter out to the owners and then to check the boats in, in our inventory. Everything we had had this ball on it. Okay. But my question is, you knew there was a problem. You knew there was a danger with these gates. Well, there's going to be a danger with anything. You could you could walk out here and slam your door. We're, and not, we're not talking about you know that extreme. Specifically with this gate, specifically with these boats, you knew in 2004 that there was a danger. By reading this letter, yes. Okay. And you don't have any recollection of notifying people or telling your sales staff we need to let people know about this danger. Yes, that's correct. Even though in their letter they directed you to do that, you don't have any recollection of doing it. I don't recall. Okay. And you don't have any recollection of receiving the 2007 letter? To answer yes or no? No. Okay. You don't even have I any... know that we got this letter from... We, we extracted this letter. Okay, you're going to need to refer... Is that the 2007 letter? Yes. January 1st, 2007? Okay. And in fact, you don't have any recollection of doing any of these recalls of installing either ball guards or block guards on any boat. I don't recall. Okay. At no time did you ever send a postcard or a letter to any? I don't recall. Okay, so none of your customers, you, you don't remember whether you told any of them that there was a problem with this. I don't recall that. And you never contacted the McLeods to check on their grandson or to find out what happened with their boat and the injury that was sustained? I don't think that I talked to them. The first phone call I got was from that TV station. That's not what I asked. I asked, you never contacted them. You never tried to find out from them what the problem was they had with your boat. I don't recall the, talking to them. Is that a yes or is that a no or is that a yes, I don't know? I don't recall okay. talking to them. Okay. Did you ever did you ever talk to anyone at Bentley about this issue? Call talking to anyone at Bentley. They were going through a lot of changes at the time. <coughs> now, a little while ago, you testified, knowing what you know now, this is a serious situation with these pontoon boats and these pinch points. It appears to be, with not just Bentley or Bennington or Harris or whatever brand it is, it, it appears that you know any gate could. Have this problem. It, that, it appears to me that, I mean, you know, if you have a, a door or gate of any kind, if you get your finger caught in it, there's a possibility of it pinching it. Now, does that include the the new boats, like the Sun Tracker, was redesigned? Um, I don't know. We don't sell Sun Tracker.
Now, <coughs> do you have any of these ball guards in stock at your company? I don't know. Okay. Do you have any of the block guards in stock at your company? I don't know. And is there anyone there that knows how to install them? Yes. Okay. Who, who is that? Any of the technicians can install. Okay. But you don't have any recollection of anyone ever installing one? I don't recall. Okay. Now, if you had boats out there on your lot that did not have these guards on them, you would agree with me it would probably be a good idea to either put a ball guard or a block guard on them before you sell it. Is that right? My assumption is is the manufacturer is responsible for the safety of these boats, and I'm relying on them for the safety of the boat. I mean, okay. I don't build the boat. I don't design the boat. Okay. What I'm getting at, Mr. Marsh, is you've got power boats, and you sell these boats to people, and you sell pontoon boats, used ones as well. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And... Assuming you've got a used pontoon boat out there on your lot that comes in that y'all are going to sell, would it be a good idea for you to look and see if it needs ball guards or block guards on it? Before you resell that and put it in somebody else's hands that may not I know I feel it that it's the manufacturer's responsibility. If I go to modify some other brand, I mean... I feel like it's the manufacturer's responsibility to design the boat to the, you know, for safety. And my question is, on an old boat, and that was designed before anybody knew about these dangers. Old boat comes in, and you're going to resell it to someone, and you now you know about these dangers. Are you going to at least tell the people, hey, you know, these ball guards, block guards on on here? We're not going to put them on, but you might want to well, watch out. it sounds out. like the ball guard, this block guard, that none of them work. Okay, so is that your position? You're just not going to say anything to anybody and you're not going to put any of the block guards or ball guards on? I still go back to I feel like it's the manufacturer's responsibility to ensure the safety of the product that they're building. Okay. So this 1999 Harris boat that you've got listed on your website for sale doesn't have ball guards, doesn't have block guards. You're going to sell that to someone and not tell them anything about these dangers? Object to form. You can answer the question. I mean, is that is that your boat? Is that your web page? Yes, this is a consigned boat, I believe. Okay, and it's sitting out there on your lot for sale. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any block guards, it doesn't have any ball guards on it. And neither does any of the new Harris's that you showed me a picture of. So I'm okay. it's, it's a different design though, is it not? To me it looks like it's the same. It looks like it's square. And you've been doing this how long? About 13 years. Okay. And it looks the same. It doesn't look like there's been a design change at Where's all. Where's the picture that you had, of, you had one of that grand name? It appears to me that they're the, not the same. Okay, let's mark that if you make it. May I see it? And it's hard to see in the picture, but. I mean, it, it's hard to, to, to depict in the picture, but it looks like. I can't tell if it's got one of those block guards or not on this old one. Let's go ahead and mark that one. Now, that's a 1999 Harris that you've got on consignment that we just marked as Exhibit 3. Look at this 2005 Harris boat. Is that that's your website? Yes. Okay. And, and that boat is also on your lot 
on consignment or for sale? Well, you blocked out, you've overlaid this picture. You've overlaid this picture here. Um, just trying to think if we've still got the boat. Well, you agree with me. That's your website. And that's, yes, it is the oh, website. Okay. I agree with that. And that's a 2005 Harris boat. It doesn't have any ball guards on it. It doesn't have any block guards on it. I really can't tell in this picture. Do you know whether or not? Because it looks like there's something. That... Well, Mr. Marsh, I mean, do you think that's a big deal? Do you, I mean, now that we're sitting here talking about it, is this something you're going to go out to the lot and if it needs ball guards or block guards, you're going to put them on there? I'm are you to call the manufacturer okay. and ask them what their recommendations are. Okay. Now, have you ever done that I'm, before? Ask them a recommendation on a pinch card? Mm hmm I don't recall ever asking them a recommendation. So it took me... Coming here with you today, taking this deposition to get you to finally do that with these boats that you're selling people? Object to form. You are getting way off the 30B6 notice that you have provided to us. Can you answer the question? I would like to get the, the, the boat builder's opinion. Okay. Now, you sell boats, you also service boats as well, is that right? Yes. Okay. And how big a part of your business is the service end? It, it's a pretty good piece of it. Okay. Would you say it's more than 50% of your business? In dollar-wise, no. Okay. What about... Gross in, sales, no. Okay. What about in overhead and work? Overhead and work. You have technicians that have to work on these boats? Yes. And so do you have more people working on boats than you do selling boats? Yes. Okay. And that's what I meant. Uh, you send out flyers to clients to come in and have their boats winterized. Is that right? Yes. Does this look like a flyer that you sent out? Yes. Okay. Let's mark this as the next exhibit. How many of these flyers do you send out every year? At winterization? Mm-hmm. I don't exactly know the exact number. Okay. Is it more than a thousand or less than a thousand? I would say more than a thousand. Okay. And you use a, a bulk postage rate. You have a permit with the U.S. Postal Service. Is that right? I don't. Well, the company does. So Powerboats doesn't. Okay. You, you contract this with another company? You have to answer yes or no. Yes. Okay. And this is for winterization, what we marked as Exhibit 4. Are there other uh, ads or mailings that you send out to customers? I don't know exactly which, what all we send out. I know we send out the winterization. Okay. Now, this one that we marked as Exhibit 4, it says, Receive a free multi-point inspection. What, what's a multi-point inspection? It's basically a courtesy inspection. Okay. Well, what's a courtesy <clears throat> inspection? Uh, basically, make sure your nav lights work, horn, blowers, bilge pump. And is there a checklist that your technicians have to follow when they're doing the service on these boats? Yes. And how long have you been using a checklist when you do service on boats? 
I don't exactly recall when we implemented that. And it's just a courtesy inspection. And that's, you keep those records, correct? Of the courtesy inspection? Yes. Yes. In fact, you keep records of all the work you do service-wise on all your customers' boats, is that right? Yes, it's either in our system or there may be hard copies. So it should be in your system that during this multi-point inspection, the technicians checked to see if the pontoon boats had ball guards or block guards, is that right? No. So that's not something that you check whenever a boat comes in for winterization? No. Okay. Now, you send this out. This particular ad says, bring postcard in for a month free storage. What's the reason for doing that? To build value. And, and I guess as an incentive to bring the customer in uh, so you can do the service on their boat. Is that right? Yes. Okay. It's not a trick question. That's obviously why you're doing it. Okay. Your testimony, though, is that you have no recollection of ever sending out any type of mailing like this warning any of your customers about these recalls. I don't recall that. Besides mailings with the U.S. Postal Service, you also send out emails as well to customers. Yes. Who's in charge of that? Of sending emails? Yes. Whoever's sending the email. Okay. Well, you're you're here testifying for the for the organization, Mr. Marsh. I mean, who who do I you mean, have there? Sales would. I mean, most of the emails I would say are sales related. Okay, and. You don't send out bulk emails to a customer list? There is email that are sent out, yes. Bulk emails like that? Yes. Okay. Who's in charge of doing that? The sales manager. Okay. And who's that? Lisa Hunter. Okay. And what are these emails, what is she sending out? these bulk emails? I would assume it's to try to sell a boat. Okay. So she'll send out emails that have y'all's inventory in it, uh, advertising prices and things like that? I would assume so. Okay. And you agree with me, email's a lot cheaper than mailing something like this in the postal service. Is that right? I would say yes. Well, as the manager of this business, you're in charge of profit and losses. That's your responsibility. Is that right? Yes. You agree with me? Email's a lot cheaper. Yes. And it's a lot easier to get one message out to, say, all your customers that you've got an email address for. Is that right? Yes. And your testimony is you have no recollection of ever sending an email or a bulk email out to your customers regarding the danger with these pinch points in the pontoon boat. I don't recall that. In fact, it's your testimony that there's no need for you to do that. That's the manufacturer's responsibility. <coughs> it is the manufacturer's responsibility for the safety of the boat. Okay. When was the last and time you sold a Bentley boat? I don't know the exact date. 2009. Okay. Let me give you a hypothetical. I'm assuming you have people come in that want to either trade in a boat or possibly sell a boat or put it there on consignment. Is that right? People regularly do that at your business. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's assume. I come there with the Bentley boat. It doesn't have any ball guards, it doesn't have any block guards on it. 
for you to put on your lot on consignment? What is it, I guess, what, what do you feel like your duty is at that point as a, as a dealer in these watercraft? To tell me, I mean, are you going to tell me how you need to put the block guards or the, the ball guards on? Or are you going to call? <coughs> well, I'm going to say that there was a safety recall. Okay, so you would, you would tell me that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you got to Just yes by right? knowing after the fact what has happened here. Okay. And that's because this is a dangerous condition that people need to know about. You agree with that? Yes, it appears to be. Okay. So if I had evidence of a Bentley boat on your lot after this happened with no ball guards, no block guards, what would be your explanation for that? How would you explain that to the jury? Object four. Can answer. Tell me that question again. How would you explain to the jury, after what you've just testified to, the fact that you had a Bentley boat on the lot after all of this happened with no block guards, no ball guards? I don't know. <laughs>